Hey guys, welcome to the channel Golf with James. I just finished playing at Oak Creek Golf Club or golf course in Irvine, California. I'm here visiting my parents and got a chance to sneak in some golf uh, with Jeff and Daryl, who are guys that I went on a recent banding trip with. So really beautifully maintained course. If you're watching this because you're trying to get a sense of what the course is like, you're not gonna regret your visit. Uh, we came out for an early morning round and pace was great. We had an awesome fourth, Bill, as well. So uh, hope you guys enjoy this round. Thanks again for watching. All right, so I'll pop in here every now and again just to provide some additional context or commentary, but did have some mic issues right at the gate, but didn't want to hold up the group. So taking this first swing with my four hybrid on hole number one, which is a par four, 360 yards. I send this one a little bit out right, but in play and that'll work just fine. What's up guys, out here with Jeff, the only legitimate plus handicap that I personally know. <laughs> also the organizer of our Bandon trip and upcoming Kiowa Island trip. Um, so we refer to him as the captain. So thank you, Jeff, for organizing everything. We also got Daryl over here. What's up, Mr. Kwok? Um, I think he's the guy who's hosting us today. So thank you for your generosity. Eight iron. Oh, he almost got there, I think. Pretty straightforward chip here. A lot of green to work with. Put myself in a pretty good position to save par with this putt and give it a good try. Okay. Thanks. Good try. Yeah, they are in play for me. Uh, thankfully not though, it's gonna roll past. This one right on line, but comes up just a bit short, so I'm in the bunker. Dang it. Ah, uh, a little too clean here. Wait, so the prank. ball goes well past the green. I chip it back on, two putt, but walk away no. with a double bogey. Okay. All right, par three, 163 yards, water on the right. I take my seven iron here, I believe, and give it a good strike, good and I am on. Some wisdom from Jeff now. Jeff is dropping some knowledge right now. This one I the think I know. The strategy but... on a par three in general is you just want to get a three. So anything you do to get the ball on the green and have a tap in par, you're going to be gaining strokes against pretty much everybody because par threes are statistically the hardest holes relative to par. Wisdom from a plus. Alrighty. I picked this game up about two years ago. That's why I like, uh, they're just helping me out. Yeah, yeah. Trying to, I'm trying to accelerate the learning process. All right. Sweet. Thanks. Forgot how high your ball flight is, dude. Yeah, I really like this ball flight. Yeah. I, I want to lower. Oh. <laughs> I would definitely trade here for you. It wasn't pretty, but that's nope. fine, I think. That's fairway. Yeah, like I'm saying, I can't drive the ball right that's now. Fine. Four hybrid. Keep going. Green. Nah. Oh, it's too wet. And about 50 yards. All right, so here I have my gap wedge. I open it up a little bit, 
get it up in the air and get it to land pretty close to the pit. So have yes. about eight feet to save this bar. and just miss it. But you know what? I'm just waiting for my opportunities. I'm not mad about bogeys right now. This is a beautiful course with beautiful men. <laughs> I'm already not gonna put uh, water into play anyway, but. Yeah. Right now, I don't want to put the... Because you're a fader. Dude, I don't even know what I am anymore right now. But six. Yeah, anything on the green is fine. Yep. Give this one a pretty good strike, pull it just a bit left. That's right. But put myself in a good position. Okay. Put it close no. to the pin here. Keep going. All right, so not the best chip shot there. I have about right. a 20 foot putt to try and walk away with a par. And do pretty well to walk away with a two putt here. Okay. But pick up another bogey. And you know what? Bogey isn't the worst outcome. I used to really hate bogeys, but really my greatest enemies are the double bogeys, the triple bogeys. And I just have to accept that as a high single digit handicap, that bogeys aren't bad outcomes at all. Oh cool, it runs out to the right. When it's a little bit below your feet, do you just think about turning your hands over a little more? Uh, no. Not really? I don't change that. Mm. Unfortunately, hit it pretty oh, fat. Man. So my third shot is a pretty long approach shot. Great shot. Nice and I pure it. Very straight iron shot. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, uh, five. Fortunately, I'm a little left in the bunker. Hit a pretty good sand shot out. Good shot. That Thanks. Good. Yeah, baby. And sink this yeah, baby. about 15 yeah. footer. Thanks. It's a safe bar. All right, Jeff Darrell. How are you guys rounds going today? Doing very well. Okay. Darrell just made a birdie. Ooh. Get him back to even, I think. All right. Uh, I haven't been able to take advantage of the par five. Okay. But I'm not pleased about. Okay. But I did make two mid-range putts to make some threes, so I'm very pleased with that. All right, and I'm not totally embarrassing myself right now, so Peter's happy about that. Par. <laughs> Loves it. <laughs> All righty. All righty. Number six. Let's keep it. Let's, no, that was number six. That was number six. Okay. We're on seven already. All right, yeah, Beautiful. seven, seven. I love this pace of play. This yeah. Perfect. All right, par three here. 199 yards, the pin was tucked to the right and I did not want to go there, but end up blocking it just a bit. Wow, this rough is really um, easy to get there. Daryl and Jeff don't care about my observation. They just turn back to their conversation there. And I hit a pretty good flop shot to get back onto the green. Sweet. Just burn the edge there, but on the second putt here, get it through the middle. Yes, sir. Walk away with the bogey. All right. Thanks. Oh man. I hit the tree. Yeah. And then I also saw like a Phil Mickelson video about it. Just like 95%, most golfers within three feet are gonna sink that. And then as soon as you go 4%, drops, it drops so like much. crazy. Even five, yeah, three footer versus a six footer is like a huge difference. Yeah. You know? 
All right. <laughs> kind of screwed you. Your ball's like in a hole there. <laughs> <laughs> Seven iron. Yep. Like Just want to go a little easy. Yep. Pass the hole would be good. Oh, man. Oh. Just a little quick. Not the worst, though. Yep. You know what's interesting okay. is that I don't think today was my best ball striking day. And yet, it seems like my misses still kept me alive on most of the holes that I was playing. And my putting kept me in the game all throughout the day. So here I am and walk away with another two putt to escape with another bogey. So plus seven through eight. All right, so hole nine here, a par four, 431 yards. Come on, turn a little more. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. All right, Jeff, so I have battled to get into high single digits. What are you observing so far in my quest to get down to middle, low single digits that I can work on so far? Perspectives of a plus handicap over here. I'd like to see you take a little bit more risk off the tee. Okay. And what does that mean? I'd like you to just hit longer clubs off the tee. Uh huh. Because your off the tee game is not a weakness relative to your approaching the green game at, mm -hmm. the, at this point. Okay. I'd also like you to aim a little bit more right and just play what you've got right now, which is a draw. Okay. Because more often than not, you're hitting it left. Um, but when you get a little quick, you hit it right. So uh -huh. I'd like you to try to commit to hitting it, uh, to commit to aiming a little more left and hit a little more club off the tee. A little less of the hybrids off the tee, um, especially when the course is generous. Got it. Six. Choke down. I hit the six iron exactly how I want to and end up about 10 to 12 feet away right. from the hole for my look Thanks. at birdie. So I think it's as I'm set, looking over the ball yeah, for my birdie putt it. here, do want to say again, thanks again for watching. This one's going to slip in for a nice birdie nice. to end at plus six through nine. I'll have the back nine up shortly. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. Yep. See you guys for the next one. <laughs> thanks.